Welcome to another episode of Minecraft, guys. This is the promised furniture video, and in this video, it'll be about bedrooms. Um, I'm not sure why I chose bedrooms first, but that's what you're going to get. Um, <laughs> let's go over here first. This is the first one I built. I'm going to give you a variety of different um, sizes, and they're all going to be kind of uh, similar in um, dimension, like, not dimension, uh squareness it's kind of i'm not sure i'm not sure how to give you a good example of weird rooms so i'll just stick with square-ish ones since you come across those more um so this one pretty basic got a bed in the corner it's kind of a long one um little uh this is a kind of um shelf there we go <laughs> can't think of the words um use using stairs and some half blocks get that and then over here just a little tiny table um the usual fence and uh pressure plate and then a oh and i'm in the default texture pack so that people can um understand what i'm using no matter what texture pack they use so you can just translate this into your texture pack and i'm sure it'll look fabulous um <laughs> This one is the lamp, so a fence and glowstone up there. And that's that room, just a nice small one. In here, um, adding some more variety. This is a desk, so you've got a chair with signs on the sides, if you didn't know that. And then bookcase, here's another bed with using pressure plates. You can use um, stone pressure plates as well. This is another, um, this is kind of like a closet design just doors on the outside of that same thing that I did over there with stairs and half blocks so that's that room moving on over here I'm using half blocks instead of just flat or pressure plates as pillows and then black wool for a TV I know some um, texture packs have a TV painting but if you don't you can just use some black wool and it looks all right um, got a little couch there for the TV and then a chair for the desk. You could probably put like a computer or something there with a lamp in the corner. And that's that room. Not too much to that one. Um, and now we go to this one. In here, kind of busy, but um, this is a four poster bed um, with canopy. And then you just got some table space on the edges, some paintings. Um, this is a fish tank, or what you could interpret as a fish tank. So half blocks, and then I'm using pistons as tables. Um, some texture packs make it look even better, uh, but this one works great. And a chair as well. Um, just give you some ideas on how to utilize your space well. Now over here, this is a tiny one. Uh, <laughs> this one, like, maybe you could find in an apartment or something. I'm not so sure about the paintings arrangement, but whatever. Um, just a little bed, chest, um, and then chair and desk. <laughs> and that's it. Just a tight little room. And then the last one, over here. This one's shaped a little bit differently. You got a little hallway then opens up into your bedroom and this is a water bed um, I'm just showing you different types of material you can use for beds I put ice up at the top for pillows and then water <laughs> and then um, you've got the same kind of four poster thing and then this one's enclosed on top we've got a couch over here and then a large TV in front of the bed and then it a walk-in closet because I wasn't sure what else to put over here I didn't want another weird shaped room so here's a walk-in closet using stairs and half blocks you could probably vary it up a little bit more but it gets the point across and that is that room kind of a more of a master bedroom type design over here um, I kind of themed this one with half blocks I know I couldn't get every single type of room in here, so I just tried to give you some variety and um, different design choices. Um, this is kind of a weird little corner chair 
with a bed. Um, and then these are stairs placed in there. Um, so they look like a quarter of a block sitting there. And then over here is a desk. I took out this block so it wouldn't be really dark. I don't know why it does that, but the lighting engine darkens stuff when it's um, when you can only see a little bit in there. And for a chair, this is kind of interesting. It's two stairs back to back. Um, here, let's go get some stairs. Show you real quick. So it's taking up this much space. You got stair facing this way and a stair facing this way. It looks like a normal block, but it's in fact two stairs. And then I put a sign on top for like the back of the chair. Kind of an interesting chair design. Ah, oh, I always get rid of the block I need. <laughs> All right. Uh, and then another little uh, shelves thing um, with some added space in between with half blocks. All right, and then over here, this is a really weird one. <laughs> um, it was it was really hard to think up some of these. Um, this one's bed, um, but instead of stuff at the end, it's got a headboard type thing. Um, there's stairs right there, and then half blocks up there. And over here, another table design. Instead of fence posts going down into there, you have stairs um, so that you get that nice little one piece and then half blocks on top. It's the perfect level, just awesome. This is a fancy chair um, using wool and stairs and half blocks. I'll show you how to do that real quick. It's a three by two area. Stairs facing outwards like that and then you place your wool like that and then you need stairs against the top block and then half blocks right there you can also add a half block on top if you want adds more of kind of like an office feel so that is that chair kind of a cool design and then a t huge TV on uh, the other the other wall. Kind of a lame room, very one color scheme. <laughs> um, I suggest varying it up. I'll show you in the next ones coming up. <laughs> this one, um, you can tell it was getting late. Uh, <laughs> me and Biggs were working on some of these. And this one turned out to be a jail. Um, you've got a bunk bed here. It was kind of awkward using actual beds in with half blocks but this is what we came up with and the ladder actually works so there's that um, using blocks and some half blocks and then here is just um, stone brick stairs instead of wood stairs and a toilet this toilet's kind of interesting use stairs for the back and then a cauldron and a hatch on top and then on the side um, on the back it's just a block with a button for the flushing thing it's kind of cool that it lifts it up and then a pressure plate it just I think that's the best toilet design I've ever seen um, using half blocks the other ones use like normal blocks and they aren't quite as good okay we'll go to this one and then the last one we'll do the good one this one <laughs> I don't know if you can tell, it's a little bit lame. <laughs> I could probably put some paintings up, make it look a little bit better, but we were kind of out of it. It, <laughs> it was a long day. Um, oh, dang it. Glowstone, remember, um, melts ice. I had ice under there, but there's only one block left. Um, so we got some lamps on the sides, and then like table space, counter space, and then shelves. And here is the craziest waterbed you've ever seen. <laughs> um, we've got a clock going under there, um, making these repeaters go on and off. At night, if you don't have these glowstone, um, the bed starts like, it just looks like it's flashing. It's kind of cool. I don't really like this design, to be honest, but I do um, like the use of hatches for pillows as well. So there's another pillow idea for you guys. And over here, um, another TV design. These are stairs. <laughs> we use netherrack for some reason. 
since this was kind of the throwaway room, it's just random. And then another table thing, and that chair again, except with a block on top. So yeah, <laughs> um, there's that. And then save the best for last, well, at least I think so. In here, it looks kind of crazy right now. I bet it would look better in a different texture pack. But um, you've got this cool couch design, so two stairs facing each other, half block, and then stair. It's, it's really interesting working with half blocks because you can use stairs and half blocks in cool little arrangements to make different looking stuff. Um, so here's a cool couch, and then a coffee table using stairs and half blocks. And then this is another chair design. Um, you've got half blocks on here, and then a stair here. Just good usage of the stair half block combos, again. <laughs> um, and then a nice big TV. This is like a double sided TV so you can lay in bed and watch it as well. Um, this is actually a cool design that I totally forgot about until Biggs reminded me. Um, this little border up here is, instead of using fence, use hatches. And it looks awesome. Um, it's just got the perfect uh, height and it just it looks ornamental and awesome. So I highly recommend using hatches for decoration. Um, it would look really good on a house like a Chinese style house. Um, anyway, <laughs> um, the bed is a four poster, as you can see. And then in the back, we used stairs and half blocks to make this crazy backing shelf thing. And then on the sides, you could probably have like a hidden lever somewhere around here, and it would open up the above, and you could climb these the ornamental side things and work awesome. I don't know if you guys need me to go more in depth in these, but um, this is just the bedroom episode. It'll be going into kitchens, uh, bathrooms, living rooms, game rooms, all that type of stuff. Um, hopefully this helped you guys get a little bit more ideas on what you can use and how to use space. Um, it's just kind of trying to fill the area and yet still stay comfortable. Um, like, here it's pretty comfortable, like, pretty close. I usually like to leave a two-block space between things. Sometimes one block is a little bit close, but this one, I think, works well. Um, hopefully this all made sense and you got a few more ideas out of it. Um, I will be moving on to other rooms. That'll be awesome. And, um, I will see you in the next video.